Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 homebrew news and much, much more. Okay, so back on February the 24th, 2022, I made this video, which was PS4 Elden Ring requires 9.03 of the physical disc, but it was playable on a PS5 4.03. Well, I've got very good news for you. And that news is, is that as of today, which is the 25th of June, at least in the Pacific time zone, Elden Ring is available for you and for your PlayStation 4 9.00. Let's go ahead and let's look at the contents of the package as well as we're going to install it. We're going to do a quick test and then I'm going to walk you through adding in the bonus pre-order content. Let's go. Okay, so there's just a few things to call out here. Obviously, the very first thing to call out is that there are three PKGs that is inside of the download as well as you'll find a release info.txt. Just so you understand what's what. So the PKG that's right around 30 gigabytes is the actual base game. This is what you would want to install on your 9.00 firmware PlayStation 4. This next package here, which is right around 95 megabytes, this is what you would want to use if you're using a firmware that is not 9.00. So if you're on, you know, 6.72, etc., you can install this package after you've installed the base package. But this package, at least this 95 megabyte package, this is not needed if you are on firmware 9.00. The last one here is, is a bonus gesture. So this, I'm going to walk you through installing this. But basically, after you install the base game, and if needed, the patch or the back port to earlier versions of the PlayStation 4 firmware, then you would install this PKG file, which is the bonus gesture. Inside of this release info, you basically see the same thing. Okay, let's go ahead and let's try this now on my PlayStation 4. Okay, it feels like home here. I finally am back on my PlayStation 4. Been covering a bunch of other news. Anyway, it's great to be here. So let's go ahead and make sure your PlayStation 4 is jailbroken. And we are going to go into PS4 Explorer. Okay, once PS4 Explorer is open... I am going to navigate down to that 29.4 gigabyte file and we are going to press X here in order to install that package. We can go and check on it here by going back up to notifications and downloads and then I'm going to go ahead and fast forward and get this thing installed. Okay, so it is now installed and it's ready to go. So so now let's go ahead and let's go and install our downloadable content. So the very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to Elden Ring, a bonus gesture, the ring, and let's press X here. Okay, and there it goes. It says it has now been installed. Okay, so let's go back and we'll just go into notifications. And yes, it has been installed. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to run Elden Ring. Okay, there it is in all of its glory. I am very surprised how long it took in order to get Elden Ring running on a 9.00 PS4. But man, am I glad that it is here. Who would have thought from that February date until today we now have Elden Ring running on a 9.00 PS4. That is so awesome. Okay, there's a little bit of setup that I believe you have to do. We're going to press a button here.
and it looks like it's creating some save data. We're going to hit accept on both of these screens here. Looks like there's another third screen. I am not on the internet right now, so starting in offline mode. Looks like that's fine. And now let's go to new game. Okay, let's just accept the brightness as it is. We are going to leave all of those as the default. It is updating the save data. We're going to select a character base. I have never played this game before, so I don't really know what's the best one to pick. I'm going to give myself a name here. And we'll go down to finish. And yes, we will start with that character. Okay, so at this point, in order to show you the downloadable content, I am going to disappear. But don't worry, I am still here. What we are looking for right here is going to be in the right bottom corner. So you will see something that says the ring X1. Okay, there it is. It says the ring X1. All right, so we want to take advantage of this. So press the option button on your controller. All right, now we need to navigate over to where it says gestures. So let's go ahead and let's do that. And now we're going to press square on one of these. I think the best one to remove is probably the one that's right beside it is the rest one. So we're going to remove it with square. Now we're going to hit triangle. And right beside it, there it is. That is the ring. So we're going to press X to select it. And we can test it by hitting the square button. So we'll go ahead and we'll press the square button. And there is the gesture for the ring. So pretty awesome. So now you've got the game installed and you have your downloadable content ready to go. Okay, so now go and enjoy the game as much as I will be enjoying the game. And I am working on another video right now. It's actually going to be for PlayStation 2 folks, but stay tuned to the channel. Go ahead and subscribe. Why not? It's free. Like this video. <laughs> All right. I'll see you on the next one. Michael out.